up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Alliance's Heroes. Alliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. Where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. So you may be driving to work going, you know, just is this the right thing? You know, I may be down and out. But this show is all about uplifting your spirits, getting you to learn from some of the heroes, understanding what makes them tick and why they are so motivated. That's what the purpose of this show is, to help one another. And this show, this episode's all going to be about those really uplifting one another. Later on in the show, let me tell you who we've got coming on. The founder of Flying Over Time, that's flyingovertime.com, highlighting the 90th anniversary of the spirit of St. Louis. And later on, Celebrity Chef Zipporah, that's chefzipporah.com. But let me talk to you about our first hero and stuff. Unbelievable. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. That's right. Oh my gosh, and it's all going to be about flight because, well, you know, who loves going to the airport and wrestling with the mobs of people all wanting to get to their destination at the mercy of the airlines? And, you know, everyone, you don't know what's going on. It takes forever to get through. Well, we've got the solution today because get this. Enter FlexJet. FlexJet offers fractional jet ownership and leasing. We have the chairman who flew in to do this interview. That's right, Ken Ricky, and he can be reached at FlexJet.com. F-L-E-X-J-E-T dot com. Now, Ken, this sounds like such a sexy business. How do you become chairman of this company? Well, first of all, I'm passionate about aviation, but I started as a pilot. I was in the Air Force. Uh, I was actually Bill Clinton's pilot when he ran for office in 1991. I'd like to say that uh, he wouldn't have got there without me. But it really, I translated a, a love of flying into uh, understanding how, how the business was changing because the business really began in the 70s. Uh, only 5,000 corporate jets when I began, today 35,000. So I kind of grew up in the industry and was, uh, uh, you know, had the opportunity to understand where, where opportunities lied in, lay in aviation. Now tell me about the size of FlexJet. That's just truly what, what the growth and what's been going on. Oh, uh, well, about 1.6 billion in revenues, and we have 152 airplanes. And if you were to imagine, it's like a it's like a country club. You pay a fee to join, and then you pay a monthly membership due, and then within four hours, anywhere in the continental United States, a plane will pick you up and take you point to point wherever you want to go. And we fly on average 450 flights a day. That's amazing. Where are many, uh, some of the most popular destinations then, would you say? Well, the most popular destination is New York to Palm Beach. Okay. Uh, uh, the other destinations would be what you would think, Van Nuys, Las Vegas, Scottsdale. Uh, people, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, business centers and they're residential centers. Tell me about the type of clients that you have. Are they mainly corporate clients? Where, what's the sweet spot? You know, I tell you that people ask that question all the time, but it, you, there's no line of demarcation anymore between uh, personal and corporate. People do a lot of uh, personal, they do a lot of business while they're traveling personally, and they do a lot of personal work that means business. But about uh, 35 to 40 percent we can identify of our customers as actually corporations, Fortune 500 corporations, large companies that do that, and about 65 percent are people we can't identify as corporations, but certainly are business related. Ken, could you ever imagine that was when you were a child looking up in the sky and seeing all these airplanes that you would now be the chairman of a 1.6 billion dollar company but more than that in the aviation industry with airline well i think what happens is if you just if i tell my kids if you do something you love then you're going to love what you do and i got the benefit i just loved flying i always am still passionate about flying and i still can't i always look up when i see a plane go by and so yes yeah, so i'm very blessed to be here were you nervous? You mentioned about Bill Clinton. By the way, we're talking with the chairman of FlexJet. You can go to FlexJet.com. We'll also have it on our website, Alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. Uh, Bill Clinton. I mean, were you nervous flying him around? Well, the funny thing was somebody, we, we, I had a business at the time that did mostly concert tours. And the benefit was that you could engage. I like that business because we'd, uh, we'd have a business for three, four, five months, as opposed to trying to have something that happened just for a week or a couple of days. And somebody calls me up and they said, have you ever done a political campaign? 
And I said, well, we haven't, but I'm always interested, how long was this going to last? And they said, well, this is going to be 13 months. I said, 13 months? What's the campaign? He said, well, the guy's running for president. I said, well, who is it? They said, it's the governor of Arkansas. I said, the governor of Arkansas is not going to need a plane for 13 months to run for president. This guy's got no chance of going out of Arkansas. And then who would have ever known? I mean, that's just, that's, that's amazing. Flew him to the inauguration, by the way, which is still one of the most touching flights I've ever done in my life. Fantastic. Um, now, tell me about, you are, have been awarded the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award, which past recipients have included, like Southwest Airlines co-founder Herb Keller, Federal Express founder Fred Smith, Virgin Atlantic founder Sir Richard Branson, who we recently had on the Alliance's Hero Show, what does this type of award, though, mean and, and do for you? Well, first and foremost, I, I, I looked around the room, and I was kind of young to get the award. They limit it to 100 legends, and so they usually get people older in life, so they kind of die off and make room for other people. So first of all, it was interesting that I was, uh, uh, I was honored to be selected for that. Um, and remember, the award is, is not only about entrepreneurs, it's, about, it's given to people that make a contribution to aviation. And I'm as much proud as being an entrepreneur in the business as I am for my participation in aviation. So it meant a lot. And you're listening to Alliance's Heroes with me, David Kogan. Be a hero. Go to where entrepreneurs align. Be part of the community, alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com, where you may have the opportunity possibly to meet Ken, the chairman of flexjet.com in person at one of our many experiences. In fact, maybe, Ken, we need to work out something to have an experience on one of your planes and stuff and maybe fly some of our other radio guests around and just uh, such a fantastic thing. In fact, what do you maybe personally, where do, where's your favorite spot to go and take one of your planes? Well, probably my favorite spot, we have a home down in Cabo. And I think I love spots where your friends can come together and enjoy each other. And we, so we go there, and we go to Italy a lot. So those are our favorite destinations. Now, I want to know a little bit more about the, how the FlexJet process works. So I would go to the website. Is there a form that I fill out to then become a member, or how does that application process well, work? Well, as you could imagine, this is a high-end sale. Most people are committing for something in a six-figure buy over the course of a year. And so it's not really a website product. The website is in an, it has plenty of views of planes, it has all of our commercials that have run on television, and it'll give you a great overview of how it works. But ultimately, you're not going to make this kind of investment without A, demoing the product, B, having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And there's also a financial aspect because these, these contracts are structured uniquely. They're, they're not one size fits all, and everybody has a, a unique need. For instance, one of the things we do often is we have retiring CEOs, and as part of the retirement package, rather than get some pension, they'd prefer to have access to an aircraft because they're leaving the corporate world and they haven't been on Southwest in many years, and maintaining that benefit is something important to them. So there's all different ways to approach it. So it's a customized product. And if you were to teach, now let me ask you this, Ken, if you were to teach a group of students about air flight, what would be the most important thing you would want to impart to provide them? You would, you would have to tell them that the number one thing to be successful in aviation is, is foreseeability. And when you look ahead, and I think there's probably other places in life that this, this is important too, but in aviation more than anything, the successful flight is because the pilot was thinking foreseeability. What's the weather going to do? Where's this flight headed? What, you know, what are my possible conditions ahead? And also I think that's something that can translate into business. What foreseeability do you have into your business? And what do you see coming? Well, Ken, I got to tell you, I mean, I definitely see the passion coming out for what you've done. It's no wonder that you're so successful. Where would you, we've got a little less than 30 seconds left. Where do you see the future of aviation going? Well, I think the future is fascinating. I mean, clearly we're going to get into more and more technology. Even today, the kind of pilots that we hire today are so different. There, there's no more stick and rudder. Uh, there's not the feel like they might have had when Lindbergh went across the Atlantic. The, the way they, it is today is it's really about computer. It's about ahead of the aircraft. And do you know that w it, by the end of this decade, we will no longer talk to air traffic control. It'll be all email. So it's becoming a technological uh, uh, physician. Unbelievable. Well, that's right. Ken Rickey, throughout your career, you have successfully translated your passion for aviation in the development of groundbreaking solutions that have provided thousands of people and business access to private jet travel. You can reach Ken Rickey by going to flexjet.com. And when we return, 
It's continuing to talk about flight because we're going to have the founder of Flying Over Time virtual experience highlighting the 90th anniversary of Spirit of St. Louis, Nova Hall, flyingovertime.com.